However, let's say it failed. It told you that it could not connect for some reason. And you keep pressing retry and nothing happens. Don't worry about it. All right, so if it failed, just close the app, open it up again, and then you just got to go into devices. Just look for your family room, make sure that's okay. So that's my Wi-Fi, that's the one that we just set up. And you're gonna have to do this manually. So you're gonna have to go into add, we're gonna have to add new device. Then we're gonna do the same thing again. Just choose the same home, go into next once again, and it's gonna look for your device. So just make sure you're close to that router. And here we go, it found it. So we're gonna go on and press next on the bottom right hand side. And in this case, it should tell you that it's preparing to mesh. So that's the difference between this one and your main router. You do still have to scan the QR code that we did before. Once you scan, it's supposed to tell you this, and it's pretty much the same setup that we did with the router. Just press on join. Once you press on join, it's supposed to tell you connecting to Wi-Fi. Right now it's connected, and there we go. That's our mesh. Right now I just press on got it on the bottom right hand side. It's gonna ask you where did you place this device. It could be the same thing, dining room, but I would choose something else. For example, kitchen or attic or anywhere else really. Once you do that, press on next and then it's gonna tell you this, turning on mesh Wi-Fi. So we're gonna do the exact same steps for the third one. So we just did our second one, the third one, exact same steps, and then we're gonna be done. I should mention that for this to go well, you wanna stay close with your phone or tablet, whatever you're using to set it up, stay close to the one that you're setting up at the moment. Don't just walk away and then come back to it later. Just stay with it. You will get this message again. You can click on no, click on yes, same thing. If you click on no, we can just add a device just like we did before and not have to go through this just in case or just click on yes, but go ahead and click on yes. And we're gonna do the exact same instructions for the third one. So third one, same thing, uh, it should be blinking. We're gonna go ahead and press okay. We already hooked it up, so press next. It's gonna be looking for the device. Just make sure you're close to it. If you get a message like so, no device found. Don't worry about it. Just go ahead and press on yes. Press on try again. And it's gonna look for your device once again. Sometimes it wouldn't go ahead and uh, look for your device, like not find it, because this blue light wasn't on. So it wasn't on for about 45 seconds. Anyways, right now that you found it, we're gonna go into next once again, and it's gonna prepare the mesh. Everything should technically go right this time. We're gonna go ahead and join, and here we go. Sorry about the setting, but this one technically is in the next floor up. So it has to be placed basically on the floor. So it has a better connection to the one downstairs, which is almost directly underneath. So this one, again, just choose whichever makes sense to you, wherever you guys want. Uh, in this case, bedroom. We're gonna go into next. And here we go, it's gonna turn on the mesh Wi-Fi. So at this point, you might see this screen where it says, place your next Wi-Fi point. We have no more. So at this point, finally, we can say, not now, because we are finally done. So it's gonna test out your mesh connection. So this would be one of the most important things done because right now our mesh connection is finally done. And you guys can just go on and enjoy your Wi-Fi. So I wanna point out that this should tell you only two and that's fine because it should tell you that your Nest Wi-Fi Pro is connected at the kitchen and bedroom. And that's because those are my two mesh connections. Then we have our main one which would be our third one, but that's not really number three. That's just our router, our main router. And these are the two extra ones that we have from our third pack. So it's fine that it's only showing you two. Going to next, and there we go. Just going with this setup, but you don't have to. You don't have to sign up. You don't have to do anything like that. You can just go into no thanks, for example. And then finally, you should see something like so that tells you allow network access, obviously allow, going to allow again. And you could look for nearby hubs if you have one, but at this point we don't have one. So as mentioned before, we don't have a nearby hub. So we're just gonna tap here on the three dots on the top, tap on cancel. But anyways, at this point, you should see something like so, seeing your Wi-Fi is ready. And then down here below, just press on continue. And you're all done with the whole setup. Congrats, enjoy your Wi-Fi. And that's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.